Hello everyone. In this video, I will talk about a sample problem about how to choose the most appropriate binder to satisfy the temperature requirements. So we know that the average seven-day maximum pavement temperature um, is used as a design maximum, and the design minimum is the lowest one-day pavement temperature. However, the actual pavement temperatures change from year to year. So we need to consider a reliability level. Reliability is the percent probability in a single year that the actual pavement temperature will not exceed the design maximum or be lower than the design minimum. And we assume that both the maximum temperatures and the minimum and the minimum temperatures throughout the years follow the normal distribution. So in this example, you can see from this figure, um, the maximum temperatures throughout the years follow the normal distribution. The average is 56 degrees Celsius, and the standard deviation is 2 degrees Celsius. And similarly, the minimum temperatures throughout the years also follow the normal distribution. The average is negative uh, 23 degrees Celsius, and the standard deviation is 4 degrees Celsius. For normal distribution, we know that the area under the normal distribution curve represents the probability. So if I have a binder whose um, design maximum is 56 degrees Celsius, and the design minimum is negative 23 degrees Celsius, so this is the range for the binder, we know that the reliability level for this binder will be 50% reliability. This is because the, for the maximum temperatures, there is a 50% chance that it's higher than uh, 56 degrees Celsius. And for minimum temperatures, there is a 50% chance that it will be lower than negative 23 degrees Celsius. So the reliability level for this binder will be 50% 50, 50 reliability. And when we learn the normal distribution, we know that this is the normal distribution curve. For example, this is the mean, which is mu. If we move here to here by two standard deviations, so this is mu minus two times sigma, sigma is the standard deviation then we know that this area which is the probability here will be 98 percent so if we want to calculate the binder which satisfy the 98 percent reliability we need to first move the uh, minimum temperature from the mean uh, to here by two standard deviations. So it's negative 23 minus 2 times the standard deviation, which is 4. So if you calculate this value, it's negative 31 degrees Celsius. So move that to here. Similarly, we can add two standard deviation to the mean um, for the high temperature as well. So it's 56 plus 2 times standard deviation, which is 2. So this will be 60 degrees Celsius. So we moved to here. So the binder sh should have the range from negative 31 degrees Celsius to 60 degrees Celsius. So this binder will have 98% reliability. Because for the maximum temperatures throughout the year, the chances um, to exceed 60 degrees Celsius will be about only here 2%. And the chances for minimum temperatures uh, lower than this um, negative 31 degrees Celsius will be only 2%. So that's why this binder has 98% reliability level. Okay, then let's talk about how to choose the grade 
that satisfy this 50% minimum reliability. So you can see the grids are specified and they normally have a six uh, degree increments. So we don't have a grid that um, is exactly from negative 23 degrees Celsius to 56 degrees Celsius. So when we choose the uh, grid, it should um, closely satisfy the required reliability level. And this rounding process um, should lead to a higher reliability level than um, is originally intended. So when we choose a binder for 50% uh, reliability, when we choose the uh, design maximum, that value should be higher than this value, but closest to this value. So this is 56. So when we choose the high value, it should be closest to 56 and also higher than 56. So that, that should be the design maximum. So when we choose the design minimum, it should be closest to this value and also lower than this value. So these are the low temperatures we can choose. So it should be lower than negative uh, 23 and the closest to negative 23. So this binder should be from 58 to negative 28. So from 58 to negative 28, this should be the binder for 50% minimum reliability. So similarly, when we <clears throat> choose the binder um, for 98 minimum reliability, so we need to find the design maximum closest to this value, but higher than this value. So it should be 64. And those are the low temperatures we can choose. So it should be lower than 31. Um, negative 31, but closest to negative 31. So it should be negative 34. So binder should be from 64 to negative 34. So 64 to negative 34. So this will be the binder to satisfy the 98% minimum reliability. Let's see a sample problem. Which binder should be selected under the following conditions? The seven-day maximum payment temperature has a mean of 57 degrees Celsius and a standard deviation of 2 degrees Celsius. The minimum payment temperature has a mean of negative 6 degrees Celsius and a standard deviation of 3 degrees Celsius. And the reliability level is 98%. Okay, so since it's 98%, we need to subtract um, two standard deviations from the uh, minimum temperature and add two standard deviations to the maximum temperature. So the minimum temperature is negative 6 minus 2 times standard deviation. So this should be negative 12 degrees Celsius. So maximum temperature, the mean is 57 degrees Celsius plus 2 times standard deviation, which is 2. So this should be 61 degrees Celsius. So to have uh, the reliability level of 98%, theoretically, we should have a binder from 61 to negative 12. But for the grid, when we choose the grid, so we need to, when we choose the high de um, design maximum, that value should be closest to this value, but higher than 61. So that should be here, 64. And these are the design minimums. So that should be um, lower than negative 12 but closest to negative 12. So that should be negative 16. So the binder for this problem should be PG64 negative 16.